All right, let's let's make this a quick one. We're gonna do the last three. Uh, starting with balance and partition. Balance means every row and column has the same number of mines. Partition means numbers imply uh, numbers tell you the number of different uh, groups of mines around them. So this two, for example, must be like this because it must have two separate groups of mines. Uh, this one means that none of these are mines. Three here must be like this, and so this two must have a mine here. Row three has three mines in it already. Uh, we know because of balance having twenty four mines in the entire grid means that each uh, row and column has to have three mines each. Uh, this one and this three are... Uh, uh, how do I say this? Well, we can only have one of these having... One, uh, one of these... Only one of these can have mines, right? Because of the one. And so whichever has the mine, the three has to have another one here and here to make sure that there are three separate groups. And in fact, this can't be a mine either. So we can say that none of these are mines and both of these are mines. Yeah. This two... Well, there is already one mine in here. So this set of mines must um, be together to form a singular group. Uh, therefore, row four is complete. One can only have one mine here, which would complete row two. Uh, three... Uh, well, we don't know. This two... Maybe? No. This two has some number of mines here. Uh, yeah, so there must be some number of mines here. Fine, whatever. That's like. You finish first. Uh, I wanna think about like how many how many mines that can be in here exactly, and it's like can that can it happens yeah there can be one mine in here I think this works in fulfilling all three so it is possible for there to be more than one mine in here yeah it's possible uh I don't know what to look at then might be this column because like four cells left but I think the three has so many different ways of being fulfilled if we know there's only one mine here maximum does that change anything it's like that's not it could always do this and then that's that's fine I think and then, you know they could they could all do like all their funny stuff I guess if this was a mine, then there must be some number of mines here, right? If there were no mines here, then the three is broken. So, is this always a mine? Like, if we say this is not a mine, yeah. Uh, yes, if we say this is not a mine, then this must be a mine. Then this is not a mine, then breaks this too. So, this has to be a mine. Not sure how that helps. Oh, no, it's column G. There you go. Okay. 2 it means some number of mines here and some number of mines here. 
I don't know how that relates to this two, but this mine also acts as one partition, right? Oh, I think it's this column then. Yeah, in fact, we know there's some number of mines here in uh, because of this two. So because of column H, these two both can't be mines. Yeah. Uh, and then now because of this, this has to be a mine, so this is empty. This two over here... Well, if this was empty, then this has to be a mine. But more importantly, this can't be a mine which breaks column F, I think. So this has to be a mine, and because of this two, the mine must now extend upwards, so this is no longer a mine. Yeah, and then this three means this has to be empty. There has to be some number of mines here, right? Otherwise the two wouldn't be fulfilled. That would complete row five, so that's not a mine. Uh, and because there's only one mine here, that mine can't connect to this. So this can't be a mine. And three here must have this as a mine, I think. This two means that's a mine. And then three here means there must be some mine here. So this can't be a mine. Uh, two. I don't know if like you say if like if this was a mine then this has to be empty. Does there have to be some number of mines here? No, because it could be like this. I think that works. And then some number of mines. The three could also have no mines here. I think that's fine as well. So we're actually not very sure. Uh. Is that there's one mine here exactly? Okay, not whatever. I wanna like if this happened What would what would uh there's only one mine here, which can't connect to this. Oh right, it, this 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 just can't be a mine because it's either there's no mines here, in which case you know this forms your third partition. Well, yeah, yeah. If there were no mines here, then this has to be empty as well. Therefore, if this was the other mine, then this would fail. So this can't be a mine if these are both empty. But if this had a mine in there, then row seven would be complete. So this can never be a mine. Okay, and this 3 is easy, row 7 is complete, this one has to have a mine here, so that's empty. Row 2, well this one means this is empty, and row 2, well there must be one here right? Oh in fact I can say um, column E is finished. And because of this 2, your second mine, uh, your last mine in row 8 must connect to this. Now column C can be completed, D is complete, this one has to be a mine, there we go. Nice. Okay. Next, quad and multiple. Oh, the very initial thing we started with. Anyway, how do we start this? Well, this two. What? This two. Uh, multiple means. Well, I need to explain all the rules. All the shaded mines count as two, and uh, quad means that all two by two areas must have at least one mine in them. So we look at this two first. If there were a mine in any of the shaded areas. That leaves a empty 2x2, two two, and this is the same no matter which shaded cell is a mine, so none of them can be mines. This 2 over here has at least one in here already because of this 2, which means that it cannot have two more. Wow, it's a lot of numbers. Uh, 4. Well, this must be a mine, definitely, because otherwise you only have 3 left. Uh, this, okay, actually this 2 is very... Yeah, this 2 helps, because uh, in quad, a 2 with only single mines implies that it has to do something like this, right? If if they touch at the corner, then you would form an empty... 
uh, you would form if they touch at the corner, you would form an empty two x two. No matter which corner you had them, the only way to not have that is to have them opposite each other. And that means that there can only be at, at most one mine here. In fact, there must be exactly one mine here. You either have these both be mines or these both be mines, which places one mine in here. That puts three mines around this, so this must also be a mine. In fact, we also know there can only be one mine here. So to complete the two, this has to be a mine. I think the seven... The seven must see both these and these as mines, right? Yeah, because if it were empty, then the maximum we could have was only six. So both of the shaders have to be mines. Yeah. I think the six is very similar as well. There can only be one mine here. Therefore, if any of these were empty, then at most you would have five. So in that case, the 6 also means that these are both mines, I think. Yeah. Because of this 2 again, we know that there is one mine here. That would place 5 mines around this 6. And so it can't receive 2 more mines. And because of this mine here, we know there's exactly one mine here as well. The 5 uh, must be an odd number. So it can only have an odd number of singular mines. Which means that this can't be a mine. If it was, then you'd have two single mines, which makes the entire sum an even number in all cases. Four. Okay, well, by quad, we already know this has to be a mine. So this four can only see two more. But I think it's similar to this original two that we started with. If this were a mine, then... Oh, that's fine. But if this were a mine, then these are both empty, which breaks the four. So this can't be a mine. And three. Three already has two, so it can't see two more. In fact, this 3 has exactly one mine here, so to complete the 4, this has to be a mine. This, uh, by quad, this has to be a mine. I think this 4, yeah, this 4 sees 3, so this can't be a mine as well. I wonder if there's one mine here. But we do know by quad, this has to be a mine, so these are both empty. This 2 is finished. And this 4 must see 2 more, which can only be done like that. This 2 is finished. Wow, this 4 can only see 2 more, which is like that. Uh, this 6 can only see 2 more, which is like that. And this 8 can only see 2 more, which is like that. Same logic, wow. Um, this 6 sees 5, so we need to see 1 more. Uh, this 6... I don't think we know yet. Same for this. Yeah, none of these is confirmed. So we can look here, 4 is complete. 5 over here has to be just all these being mines, and this 5 is then complete. This 8 must see 2 more. And this 6 is complete. 9. Well, 9 nine just has to see all of these being mines. This 6 is complete, so this... Well, we know that the mine has to be opposite 2. So that's not a mine, I think. This 7 has to have a mine here. And this 7 sees 5, so it needs to see 2 more. This 7 sees 5, so it needs to see 2 more. Uh, however, there's only one mine remaining. Ah, there's only one mine remaining. So it can't see 2 more like these, it has to see 2 more like this. This 3 is complete, putting the final mine here. There we go, 48. And the last one. Whoa, that is a lot of... Now, okay. Alright, let's look at this. Liar and connected. The rules are... Liar means that all the numbers are either one more or one less than the actual value. So this 5 is either an actually a 4, or this 5 is actually a 6. And connected means all your mines must be together and cannot form isolated islands. So, we start with this 0, I think, which has to be a 1, right? because it can't be a negative one. And notice that if this were a mine, that will complete the zero, which blocks it off, it isolates this mine. So this can't be a mine. And this one, well, can't be a two, because this zero is a one. So this one can't be a two, and therefore must be a zero, which is trivial. This one could be a zero, this one could also be a zero, in fact. Yes, and we do actually can use a liar trick here. Um, we know that there is an even number of mines here, right? Therefore, this one, which is either a 2 or a 0, is also even. Meaning that this set must have an even number of mines. This 0 is a 1 though, which means that this square must have an odd number of mines. Therefore, it must have exactly one mine in it. Uh, yeah. 
so this zero is then complete, so there are no mines here. Uh, this three must be a two, because it can't be a four, so there's one mine in here. This one, well, we don't know, I think. It could be a zero, it could also be a two. Yeah, this three though, it already sees two here. So this set must actually have an even number of mines, I think. Even. And because this 2 is either a 3 or a 1, it's also even. And in fact, yeah. And because there is one mine here and an even number of mines here, then this, uh, this rectangle here must also be even, I think. Yeah. Not sure how that helps, but sure. This 4 is definitely a 3, so... That works. This 5 and this 7 probably. We know this 7 must be a 6 because it cannot be an 8. And this 5, well, we don't know, but we do know that... Oh, can these all be mines? I think they can all be mines. Yes, they can all be mines. But we do know that 7 is a 6. What else is there? I believe it might be something to do with um, connection at this point, but I can't be, con I can't be too sure. Hmm. Okay, I do know that I don't think this 2 can be a 1 though. Because if this 2 is a 1, you'd have this, and then this 7 only sees 5, which doesn't work because it has to be a 6 minimum. So this 2 must be a 3. And then there's 1 here and an even number of mines here. However, we do know this can't have 2 mines in it because putting 2 mines here would lead to the same issue. So in fact, there must be exactly two mines here, so there are no mines here. This four... Uh, could be a three, could be a five. Uh, not exactly sure. This two... Well, this mine must escape, right? So we know that there has to be a mine here, but we also know there has to be at least one mine here to connect to this, and one mine here to connect to this. That will make three around this two, which, is, uh, which completes it. So this can't be a mine, and then in turn these are both mines. Uh, this 5 is a 4, so these are both mines again. And because mines must uh, all connect, this has to be a mine as well. Uh, because there's only one mine here, this has to be empty, and this 2 is a 3, which is complete. This 4 is a 3 as well, but we don't actually know where the mine is. This 2, uh, again, yeah, again, it's fine. Now... What else do we have? Yeah, I'm stuck. Alright. Oh. This four, I mean, could be a five, could also be a three, but. Let's say it was a 5, right? So I just make all the markings here. Then this one is complete, but I don't think that really matters. The issue is this 3 over here sees 3 already. But then it must see 4, but like it could see a 4th mine here, I think. Wait a minute, no, this one's a 6, right? Oh, it's complete, so these are all mines. What am I doing? This 5 is, must be a 6, and so that's a mine. Meaning this 4 has to be a 3, because a 5 would put so many mines around this 3. So this 4 is definitely a 3. Uh, we know this... Well, this one could be a 0. We don't know it could be a 0. Uh, this 7 is then complete, so that's the second mine. Uh, the third mine of the 4. I, I thought this 7 was a... I thought this 7 saw 7 cells around it. That's why I wasn't paying attention to the 7. Uh, the 4 here again must be a 3, but we don't know if there's a mine here or not. There could be, there doesn't have to be, because, you know, everything else could just connect through here. But if there was, and it could also connect to here, which is fine. We know there's, 
I actually don't know if there are mines here or not. There could be zero mines here if we wanted. But there could also be two mines here if we wanted. Alright. Uh No, I, I don't I don't get it. Like okay, let's say let's say there are some mines here. Then we can say that these are all empty. Oh, but then there's a mine here because of the fall, which then breaks because this mine is now isolated. So there has to be some number of mines here, right? If there are no mines here, then this mine here will be isolated. So we know there's some number of mines here. Okay, so none of these are mines. Cool. Again, some number of mines here. Actually, some number of mines here implies that that's a third mine, so this can't be a mine at all. Uh, this two is complete. This two is complete. Uh, and we know... There's one mine here at least. So there must be an even number of mines here. Yes. Could be zero, could be a two mines. Uh, well, yes, this three must be a four. I was thinking like, does there have to be some number of mines coming into here? And I don't think so. Because whatever mines can come out through here still, it's possible for the, the four to look like this. But what I don't think is possible Yeah, no, it has to go through here, because you can't actually take this path, right? Whichever mine you put in here always leads to a blockage. Yeah, so your mines, any mines here must go in through here, and we do know that mines here because of this three. Must have at least four mines. So whatever they do, I think must do this. And then here we know that there are an even number of mines here. Therefore, to fulfill this 3, this must also be an even number of mines which can only be 0. A 5. Well, a 5 is a 4, so these are all mines. And then because there's an even number of mines here, then this is a mine. We know that from the 1, there is an even number of mines here. Therefore, to complete the 3, which is actually a 2 or a 4, there is an even number of mines here. So that's a mine as well. Uh, because... There is exactly one mine here. There can no longer be two mines here because there are only two mines remaining. So these are both empty. This two sees two already, so it must be a third mine. And plus this mine, these are all empty. Uh, we know that, yeah, this one just means there's no mine here, so that's your last mine. Uh, and everything else is empty. Boom. Oh my god, there we go. There's the, there's the achievement. Perfect DA by A gallery. Excluding bonus variants. But oh my god, look at the bonus variants. There are so many of them. We finally got it though. All 49 of these. Jeez, that was that took extremely well that looked like several episodes. But we're finally done. And uh Maybe I'll look through like these in the future. I am definitely gonna try out some of these though, I think. I think MN is one of the more, most special combos because both use the checkbot pattern, a uh, chessbot pattern, sorry. Yeah, and maybe LM might have to do something special with parity as well. But yeah, and then we have the very special variants over here. We have the very challenging nonsense over here. Yeah, and everything here is golden. Oh, everything here is golden. Very perfect. Alright, we're done here. See ya. I meant see ya.